Hello there, Konnichiwa my gamers, John Maya, the way boy here. And welcome to another episode of Honkai Impact Third. Today we're gonna continue this game and let's hope they don't have too long. God damn, stop touching yourself, woman. We might do probably like two more than two missions today, so but stop instant instant loot. Do women do not panic when the sun and darkness fail? It was the last mistake she made. The darkness was a concentrally special prepare for her. The cold light flick flick on the of her deadly steel was like a woman's no notice. Blood broke free from her soft flesh and spilled out in the air. She didn't even feel the pain in the first few seconds. The blood under her body formed a patch that looked like a corrupted in bad taste. Who are you? Could it be her? Though she is now a Kalu, the only thing to make us ally is our common interest. And our covenancy five years ago was just an inclusion in history. No, it can't be. I've been vigilant. There's no way she could stab me from the front. Then who could it be? Who could have been trying to kill me? That was the furthest her level. Had a thinking went. The rapid loss of blood guards falls her mind. She raised her head with her remaining strength. Then she saw that figure. It was her death. It's you. The light. You're still here. Why? Blood out world into Jackal's throne and into her her. Though her voice was always so weak that it always could heal. Her death smile could be the sound of her to approach. Her death bent down over here. Who are you? She bitterly under her last two words and closed her eyes forever. Lightning flashed and thunder rumbled. The deck disappeared in the dark, a soul face not feeling certain. Jeez. Don't show it, thank goodness. He days next. The eagle but not a second luxurious room. The second I entered the room, I smell a pleasant fraction. Everything here is neat and tidy except the two online pool of blood on the floor. Eh? Two blood stains? I turned to Miss Eddie's perfectly and met her puzzled eyes. Apparently, she had noticed too. Do you want to tell you the details of the murder? Thank you, but I won't need it for now. There was nothing more detested than the obvious fact. Before I hear that fact from you, I'd like to see the scene with my own eyes first. As I know, it suddenly stepped aside. My watch of the crime scene up close, Doctor? As long as you don't interrupt my work, Miss Aldrin, I certainly won't. Alright, now let me try and find some clues hidden in this room. Okay, time to walk around. Dang, there's a lot of clues here. Um, let's start from here first. There was indeed two major blood stains at the scene of the murder, one on the ground next to Dex. And the Dex and the back of the chairs were slightly splashed with blood and other wooden windows. Could the blood stain near the window be left by Josie when he struggled to move after being attacked? No, it can't be. There should be a trail of blood between the blood stain if that's the case. Then, the two blood stains were left by two different persons, perhaps? That's a possibility. Now, let's move on to right here. A photo of two people. A man with a gentle smile is resisting his hands on the shoulder of a boy in the very chair who closely remembers him. I uh, immediately recognize the man is up, uh, and the boy is Jeffrey, Will's child, whom I just met. A sweet father, a son photo, but there's something about that looks like a bit unnatural to me. Jeffrey's eyes are dull. As if he's half asleep, and the big soft chair seems to be pumping him up. He looked much less alive in the picture, even compared to his that it took him the hall just now. Ah, uh, okay, that's pretty creepy and all. Next up, over here. The window and the door are the only two ex exits. I put the blessing on the floor while walking out the window. A few muddy footprints are clear and there's the careful push wood, wood seal. What's more, the footprint forms two set of traits of the same person walking in and out. Okay, one puzzle solved. The murder case 
came in from the window. I attacked Joycey and then left through the window. Unfortunately, I'm not the dead weight detective. This is, I'll say, a sloppy machete that tries too hard. Um, too hard? Are you sure about that? Okay, next up, last one. There are various documents in the drawer of Joycey's desk. I leafed through all of them. There are mostly research logs or drafts of a conquer energy research. I tried to look for hidden clues in the words and found these using common action techniques, but found nothing. Then a draft in a messy handwriting caught my attention. It was a research related drawing and calculation, but there are some strange words scribbled in the manga, which seems to be written down absently. It's been going on for months. I think it's time for a rule to rule out Metal Factory. The physicist can't figure out why either. Why do I keep keep having the same dream? Why do I keep seeing the girl? That girl? And why is she always so marked for? Some researchers have reported smooth experience too. Obviously, it's not because I'm insane. So many years of investigation finally started to pay off. Maybe soon, the handwriting stopped abruptly as if the will of these words are erupted. Okay, now we're done. Back to the girl. Oh wait, on my left. I take it back! I walked to the first place and found a pair of boots hidden in within. The solo upon mushrooms are footprints on the seal. Dr. Einstein, I apologize if you feel offended, Doctor. Though I tried to dis discuss the doctor's history interest without giving you the test. If you can't even figure out this, then I won't trust that in your These were the her exact words. Ah, <sighs> can't argue with her. Okay, time to go now. I look around the room again and confirm that I check every place. I wait to hear the details of the murder, Dr. Einstein. Two days ago at about 7.15pm, Dr. Einstein and I came back from the lab and went to see what the report was. We knocked on the door of his room, but there was no response. No response? Could it be because Mr. Josie was so assured in work that he didn't notice the knocking? I don't think so. We knocked many times and Dr. Einstein even saw him at loudly. He couldn't be that voice. The handsome assistant of you is certainly is quiet. Um, free. As he gave a gloomy smile and proceeded. And then we heard a voice coming from the room. Whose voice is it? Well, it's, it sounded like he was on the phone with someone, so we decided to come back later. But at 140, we were on the first floor. We heard a thump that came from his room. Mm -hmm. We immediately went upstairs and opened the door. Then we saw Welt. He was lying on the pool of blood right there. As I pointed to the blood stain near the desk, there was a deep wound on his back which seemed to be caused by the sharp archer shot as a dagger. So the murder weapon was not there? It was in the room, just not on Welt's back. Eh? For the first time, Ellison's eyes were filled with confusion and fear. In Welt's room, there was another wounded, wounded man laying on the floor. Anything pointing to the other major plus by the window. Oh, I was right! A dagger, which might be the one that killed the world, was sticking in the man's back. Wait a second, now I'm confused. Who is this man? Is he the murderer? How did he get hurt? Could he be the one who Mr. Jules was talking to? He was in the room who also heard the murder, perhaps? I don't know, but we only heard was was voice outside the door, which was why we thought he was making a phone call. It was a situation of urgent before we move all downstairs for first aid. Dr. Tesla checked on the other man. Was it someone you know? It was Grey Serpent. Grey Serpent? I heard of him and not was into a date dealer, but he seems to have good business with putting in the underworld. Mm, into dealer. We have no time to attend to Grey Serpent then. We left we left him in a hurry to treat Welt, but he didn't make it. I'm sorry to hear that, Leslie. What about Grey Serpent? He died too, perhaps? That's the most personal part. When we went back to the room, Grey Serpent was already gone. He was gone? Yes. The size of the plugin suggests Grey Serpent was security injured, but he didn't see anyone to come down. For the second floor, the only possible explanation would be that he jumped out of the window. I said jump because there were no footprints on the seal. But Dr. Adrian the test part of it because she found an impossible too. But it doesn't really make sense. Grey seven physical conditions shouldn't have allowed him to do that. Just as I knew that if these became lost in thought, after a while I broke into silence. The case is not really than I expected. Grey Serpent, who might be the murderer, could still be looking in the neighborhood. 
If that's true, I think we should go back to the hall and gather everyone. They deserve to know what happened. It's happening. As Diva spoke, we left the droid's room and went back to the quadrant of the second floor. But something unexpected happened the next moment. All the lights suddenly disappeared, and the entire building fell in absolute darkness. Do we have power back out? Don't worry, the mansion has a backup power system. Watch will have to worry when the power primary system fails. However, about 10 seconds later, we're still standing in the dark. Do all of our devices and systems break down together today? Oh god, I don't feel I don't feel good about this last thing. I can't be in tight condition. Oh someone scream. Someone screaming. It's a little girl named Sora. Damn it! Did it come from the first floor? Oh no, time to find her. Found her. That's Waven and Joy? What's she doing to Joy? Oh my god, that makes no sense. Um guys! I don't have to fight her, I don't want to. What do we do? Oh my god, can you stop waving? Why are you doing this? Hey, he's about this. Oh my god, what is that? So, we can find till he's dead, I'm guessing. Give me health. But I don't want to die here. Oh, no, I forget. Another summon. Did you say Gondom? Ooh, she's gonna die. Sidewaven. Clang. I'm very confused. The fight continued in the dark because the people in the fight were too emotional to hear that. Guess I have to sell this the hard way. I can't tell from the shout from the ones who just joined the battle has to appear in my hand with my attack. The next moment, just like they spent a while of darkness, the light suddenly came back again. Thank goodness, I can finally take a break. Sora? Sora! No response, I'll look around, but didn't find Sora. You are fine, Waven! Which Waven took Sora? Where is she? Calm down, Waven. Miss Sun and I have been investigating the crime scene on the second floor before the blackout. Sora's screen was a few seconds later after the blackout. Then we went downstairs and met you. We had no time to take her. As for me, I just came back from from the outside. What happened? That's Boyan! That's obvious! It was a girl's voice. It was a girl's voice. We all turned around and saw two strangers. One the patient silver here girl and the other is the middle-aged man with a scholarly temper temperament. Hi Boyan. Hello, Miss Johnny. You are here with your father manners, I presume. Oh, so she is the young lady. It must be Dr. Cosley, Cosley Jordy. Boy and Jithy pulled the middle-aged man towards her. Allow me to introduce ourselves. My name is Boya. My name is Boya, and I'm with Dr. Doctor's doctor. And this is Josie. He's my guardian and my father's assistant. Josie was out of the shock of my head. He hand was dry and sm straw. I smell a pleasant smell when near him. I take he is a conditioned man, but for some reason, he seems a wolf to me. Nice to meet you. So, Dr. Einstein took you, eh? Well, it's Dr. Tesla. We, when we came back, the gate was open and it was dark in the building, so Dr. went to repair the electricity. The gate was open? Oh, wow, if anyone took so away, they must have visited the gate. A dark shadow fl flashed by before I even finished talking. It was Raven who just made haste to the gate. Raven, wait! Stay out of my business. Do you want another fight? No, I'm just trying to remind you that this is a huge mission, so I might still be here. If I were to take away a child, I'll choose to hide in this building for now rather than running in the heavy rain. Hmm. It seems that I have convinced Raven. She stayed. Suddenly, Elsa's voice came from the second floor. Is that Jackal? Her first temple. For the first time, everyone since I met her, she looks so valuable. If I look in the direction she attaches it, a woman is lying face down on the floor in the far corner of the hall with a giant deep strike in the back. Oh! What is this thing in Wolfpack all of a sudden? Let's do one more, girl. Well, this is like thing in Wolfpack all of a sudden. Holy Jesus! Miss Jackal is. Is dead? 
Better, get, better go and check her conditions. Everyone and Curly Raven soon gather around Jackal. I bet, I bet to check Jackal's virtual sign. She's really dead. <laughs> how does, how does this happen? Arrow went pale, boy on top of her face as she could stand aside. Please show you one of the cases. Don't stop confirming her. So, serial killing. I don't remember these early words. Justin. Just as I came back, we updated her. You can show your brother if I go to work because Dylan is not. They're not going to send any. What? Another victim? Let's share what just happened. After Miss Ashley, Adley, Dr. Ashley and I checked the real world, the murder occurred. There was no explainable blackout. At the time, the people downstairs were Jack or Raven, Sora, and. I took a glance at Joey, Joey, who was just standing between Ashley and Tesla. His clothes has been welted by Raven in the mill. Now his head locked. As if he hasn't recovered from the st shock. Jeffrey, a few seconds after the blackout, we heard Sora scream. Miss Ollie and I came downstairs and started to fight Raven, who thought we thought we kidnapped Swap. That was common sense, what the fuck? Then, as Smith's boy arrived, he had joined the fight. And moments later, Dr. Tesla fixed the power system. So Jacob was killed during the power back out. Are you serious? class, it glanced at me. I know that what she's thinking and I agree with her after so grey servant existence. Grey servant, is he free? is he looking nearby? I have to say he's a he is a prime suspect. Wait, the time lag between when saw a scream and when the black occurred was only the ten seconds. There must be more than one Protected her because it takes much longer to get from the electric room in the hall. Actually, it could have been done by just one person. I checked the cars of the block out. It was a simple time device. It's sloppy craftsmanship, but it's actually worked. I see. Was anyone talking to Jackal when the blackout occurred? My question led to the moment of sun. Then, to my surprise, someone unexpected did something unexpected. Joey, who had always been silent, suddenly raised his arm and put straight at Raven. A <laughs> child just standing there, <laughs> like, this bitch did it! Joey, are you trying to tell us that Raven was, was talking to Jackal when the blackout occurred? Joey noted, everyone turned to look at Raven. Yeah, I was talking to her. So what? I felt something flashed by doing the blackout. Must be the mother who probably also kept that Sora. Everyone doesn't seem to be lying. Hmm, who knows if you are making this up on, or not? I think you might be the one who killed Jackal, and the motive could be just something over your share of the spoils. What did you say? Oh, hold on, that's just a Raven. Hold on, that there's a Raven is telling the truth. I also felt something flash by when I was talking to Sora. Then Sora started to scream, and then she was gone. The next moment, Raven came and seized me. I was my iPod at Joy, who became Kirti at Sunday. They were setting about this boy that was originally behind. Ravens and Joy's intentionally suggest the murderous isn't one of the guests. Then was it wasn't Grace of it who killed Jackal? But why? I was lost in the thought. Suddenly a strange feeling started to occur on my senses. Probably because the look of the face gave away my discomfort. Dorothy who stand right next to me, case of surprise look. Are you alright, Doc? Mr. Doily, the strange feeling gradually spread in me as if it was talking over my body. Everything around me is also redentling. I couldn't even wish this before I fell into the deep dream in which I smell a smell of nausea for his scent. Hey, where are we? A little light slid the darkness. I was seeing that I have already woken up. Woke up? Where did I fall asleep? This place is. I, know, I was in the halls of halls with scents. My body feels unexpectedly heavy. To be more precise, it's involvedly, like a puppet with all the pressing strings cut off. As I tapped her early on the early stage, she appeared. She looked misty and trustingly, like a spectre. Help? Help me? It was her! I think I just heard her cry, but there was no voice as if she is a shadow of a girl who should not be seen. Help you? Who are you? Why are you in such a great pain? Yes, pain. Even though I can't see the girl clearly, I still genuinely feel her pain. Help me. Help them. Them? Who are they? Tell me. Rose is red. 
is blue. Oh god, I'm gonna find Aubrey. She is still remembering some broken words, but I can feel her will just went through where she charge up all of a sudden. She's no longer called for help. Instead, she has become gloomy and resistful. I will not let you hinder us. The sound freeze harshly since she was down my spine. I tried to resist the girl attack, but my body is still in the mobile. Aww, you look trouble. The blood murder is turned to show as she cries. I can see that you don't want to give in, but you are after the one prey this time, silly. Pretty sad. I'm gonna find her, aren't we? Hello? Oh god! Oh, this is not good. She is gonna kill me, definitely. Oh, they have water? Let's go to the pool! She's floating. Never mind. Who is hitting her over and over again? This makes no sense. Dragon, come out. Help me. Oh, Quinn. This is not good, guys. She might actually kill me. Summon some ghosts. What is this, anyways? That took a lot of damage. That's pretty good. Fight! Go here, go here, go heal! Stop hitting me! <laughs> Bitch, you. Doctor, doctor, a fleeing voice ranged in my ear, then suddenly pounded me on the shoulder, which followed me back to the reality. Huh? I woke up in the sock where we looked. I looked around and found that time has hardly passed. What was that experience I just had? Suddenly, I noticed that there's another person who's also staring at me. Heh. Yeah. It almost appears to smile flickered on the weird face, which reminded me of something. Ooh, does it? Fragment has been unlocked. Ooh, what's this case? A letter to Bonyon. Dear Bonyon, I know I just wrote you another letter two days ago, but I have so many things I want to share with you. Yesterday, the level of ground beef wasn't enough to make a patty, so I made a meatball instead. The new potato or hard. It took me a long. They weren't as good as one you made. I, th I think it's because I don't. At Rosemary, but Joey still ate them all. I was hesitant at first, but I went to pick some Rosemary anyway. I forgot to wear gloves. My fingers got some sharp. It was hard to wash off. I also made two sacrifices with the Rosemary. I haven't been able to sleep for days, and Joey's been having nightmares. I think inside. But the statue made him me feel better. The book is white. The city of Rosemary is smoothing. It could be because the smell of a suyu reminds me of you, my dear Banyan. As if you were still with here with me. But I'm worried that suyu nice. might not be helpful for long. I'll probably have to ask Dr. Jack Jacko for some sleeping pills. It's easy to just take pills, although you have been telling me lately to take as little medicine as possible. Medicine brings side effects, and then we take more medicine. It cuts the side effects. I used to question the two. Is it weird treatment or some kind of visual circle? But the reason why we are here is because we are ill, and we can get free from treatment here. Sensei said everyone should get transmitted they were all ill. Doctors will try anything to kill a patient, while well, what patients should do is... Now that Jackal that has to the medicine for our illness, we should just take it. No need to overthink. I know you've been having different opinions for the doctor lately, but we trust everyone by Sensei. His belief in the doctor, so I... I think we should too. Besides, I can't give up. I must hold on for Joey. His condition is the worst. I must be strong for him. Joey has been receiving special treatment, but every time he came back from treatment, he fall into deep looking sleep and he never been able to remember the details from the treatment. I shouldn't be to have told you this. I'm sorry. Anyways, don't forget to take your medicine, my dear Bayon. I look forward to hearing from you. Love, Shield. Oh, that's actually so sweet. Oh, I just noticed it, it takes. I have to wait six days for next to open up. That's no fail. Oh my god, that's for today. Hope you enjoyed this video. Now, sorry for if you enjoyed this video. If you're new to the channel, subscribe today. Help all your content like right here. Also, any questions? Link goes below. Of course, you enjoy. I have questions. Next one. Hi.